I've been reading all this great stuff online about the uni, about Perth itself. You should see some of the beaches there, it looks amazing. Yeah, I know, we talked about this last time. You sound as excited as you did then. No, it's not. Uh, look, mate, this is, this is a great opportunity for you. For both of us, a lot has changed since we talked about it last year. I think this could be a really good change for us, a brand new start. I feel ready now. Yeah, I just... I just wish it wasn't so far. Well, that could be a positive, you know. It's a chance for us to see another part of the world. Yeah, the timing's not the best either. It sounds like you've made up your mind. You haven't stopped to consider it. No, I am considering it, but... What about the bait shop? I know you're really excited about that, but... You would find jobs in WA and probably some really good opportunities. I need to think about this. I know. And I'm sorry, I know I've sprung this on you, so I don't expect an answer immediately. But I just can't imagine being anywhere without you. Let's be. Yeah, part of me didn't think at this stage in my life I'd be interested in starting up another business, but of course, uh, working with Rick, well, it's a whole different kettle of fish, isn't it? Hey, speak of the devil. Ah, oh, mate, I was just telling Tony about the bait shop. Oh, it sounds like a great opportunity, mate. Yeah, it does. It'll be great. Are you sure you can stand working with me and living with me there, Grandad? Well, I haven't got a problem with that, mate. As far as I'm concerned, the whole thing's definitely going to happen. It's a done deal. So I guess uh, you might as well start calling me partner, eh? Uh, if you're looking for Miles, I think he's up at the house. He was having lunch, so... Well, actually, I'm here to see you. I was thinking about what you said this morning about needing a job. Well, I don't know if you know, but I'm principal of Summer Bay High now. Uh, just so happens I'm looking for a new secretary. Is that something that might interest you? Um... Uh, uh, well, when, when would you want me to start? As soon as possible. <sighs> would that be a problem? Yeah, yeah, it would be, actually. I, um... I don't have anyone to look after my son, and I can't really afford full-time daycare, so... But thank you for thinking of me. It's a really nice offer. I'd like to take it, but I I think that I should probably just sort of sort myself out first a bit more. No worries. Just thought I'd mention it. Mm -hmm. Job's not exactly growing trees around here, unfortunately. God, save us. It's the second time in one day he's gone out of his way to be nice. We're lucky if we even get a smile out of him whenever he comes in here. He's not that bad. He's just strict, that's all. But at least you know where you stand with him. And if he's about to offer you a job at the school, I might sign up for his fan club as well. Doesn't matter, I said no. I can't do it, I'm not set up, it's bad timing, I don't have anyone to look after Ollie. Oh love, it's a, a job at the school, it'd be ideal for you. I could look after Oliver for you, and Madge Wilkins could fill in whenever I'm here. Are you serious? Well I wouldn't have offered if I wasn't, and Irene's quite right. If you're only working school hours, that's much easier to handle. I've never been a secretary before. I don't, I don't even know if I could do it. No, I felt exactly the same way when I started the school, but the joints still stand. I'm like, I can't have been that bad. But I already said no. Well, then get your skates on and go and tell Martin Bartle. You've changed your flippin' mind. All right. Hope he hasn't hired anyone already. No, I think I'm really gonna like it here. And my classmates are great, and so far, I don't even hate one of my teachers. You're looking a little bit strange. Am I? Yeah, it's that look you get whenever you're in trouble. All right, what have you done now? Nothing. You see, that's not entirely true, because according to my sister, sleeping in her car is illegal. But uh, lucky for you, I like a bad boy. What's the matter? I've got to go, Reeves. But we've only just met up. I thought we were going to go swimming. No, I, I mean, I've got to leave Summer Bay. What? It's just not my deal. Since when? What about us? What are you saying? Come on, Reeves. You didn't really think this would work out in the long run. Well, of course I did. Why else would I be with you? You know how much you mean to me, OK? And... Yeah, well, you've got a funny way of showing it, trying to bail on me. You, you won't need me around for much longer. You'll figure that out soon enough. No, I don't want to wait around for that to happen. So, in other words, you're dumping me before I can dump you? Something that wouldn't have even happened. 
to say that now, but I reckon it would. And I think deep down you know that too. Besides, Rubes, we haven't been together for very long, and you've got all your family here. It's not like you'll be by yourself. And I've got all my family too, back home. But you can't stand them, that's why you left. Maybe they're not as bad as I made them out to be. Maybe the same thing goes for both of us. Excuse me. Hi. I'm looking for Mr. Bartlett. Have you seen him? I'm here about the job. Oh, the secretary's position. Yes, so am I. He's just dealing with a student in there. He said he wouldn't be long. Right, well, I'll wait here too then. So, were you working before this? What school? I've been in the city for the last five years. We had a thousand students to look after. This should be a breeze in comparison. Mm -hmm. Well, if I get the job, that is. For all I know, you could have ten years' worth of experience on me. Mr. Bartlett, Ms. I'm, Bartlett to I'm here to take the job. I'm so sorry I said no, but now I've got someone to look after my little boy, so I promise you, if I can have this job, I'll be the hardest worker ever. You've already offered the job to someone else. <clears throat> Thanks for wasting my time. Oh, that's one way to dispose of the competition. You know that one was very experienced. Yeah, I know, she kind of told me. Well, let's hope you measure up to that mark. I guarantee you, if I can do this, if you give me a chance, you won't regret it. What have I done? I totally lied. I don't have any experience at all. I'm probably going to get sacked before my first day's even over. Gee, there's confidence for you. Can you give me some pointers? You used to work there. I mean, what, what do I have to do? Oh, love, there's no real trick to it. You, uh, you've got to be organised. Uh, try and anticipate what Mr Bartlett wants. Stay on top of your paperwork. And remember, you've got one huge advantage over me when I started. You know your way around the computer. Please tell me you know your way around a computer. Oh, I can turn them on, but that's about as good as it gets. Hey, don't worry. Anything you need to know about computers, I can help you out. Oh, really? How long will it take me to learn? Not long, just a few months. After Mum died, I would have got through that without you. Yeah, you would have. You're tougher than you think. I'm glad I was there for you. Do we really have to go through with this? You know it's the right thing, Rubes. You're so amazing and you're going to take on the world. And the time that we had together was so great. But I always knew that we'd have to go our separate ways someday. I guess I hadn't really thought that far ahead. Well, trust me, and by the end of the week you'll have forgotten about me altogether. If you need anything, you'll call me, right? See you, Rubes. Okay, so I thought of another good thing about Western Australia. The sun sets over the water there. You're never going to see that in Summer Bay. How cool would that be? It's very cool. Look, I have thought about this a lot. Well, it's only been a couple of hours. You kind of thought it through that much. Look, I know this is a really good opportunity for you. But, many there are universities here. They're not the ones that are offering me a place. So, you're just saying no, you don't want to go? Oh, it's just, it's such a big move. You know, all my family are here. I'm your family too, aren't I? Well, if you, if you try to get into a university here, you could... Well, if you used to get your HSC, you could do it with your eyes closed. But I want to go now. Have you heard Grandad talk about the bait shop? He's so excited. I can't... I can't let him down. I can't do that. But it's okay to let me down? <laughs>